morning, everybody. It's 825. I'm Kate Merrill with your top stories. Let's start with a check of your next weather forecast with Jacob Wyckoff. Jacob. Kate, we're looking good as we head into the rest of the morning. Upper 30s, mid 30s in Fitchburg. We're at 41 in New Bedford and 38 in Hyannis. We do have the clouds around and there are some snow showers that are trying to sneak into the Berkshires. But for us, a lot of that precipitation will dry up by the time it reaches the ground. So we'll call it mid to low 50s for highs today couple of shower chances the later into the afternoon we go and our seven day forecast features some pretty spring like temperatures which spring arrives officially on Monday. We're back into the 50s heading into next week. Kate breaking news in Lawrence this morning an early morning fire destroying a package store and a cake factory firefighters telling us an alarm sounded in the cake factory around 4 a.m. When they arrived on Essex Street, they found heavy smoke and flames in the liquor store. The store was fully stocked, fueling the fire. No one was hurt. The cause of the fire is now under investigation. A local pizza shop owner is accused of preying on undocumented workers. Federal investigators say for 14 years, the owner of Stash's Pizza subjected his employees to mental and physical abuse. Detectives say migrants would work six to seven days a week, and if they tried to quit, he would threaten to deport them. He's expected to be in federal court on Monday. A 16-year-old student is charged with attempted murder, accused of stabbing his classmate at school. Police say the attack happened yesterday at the Brockton Therapeutic Day School, which serves students with special education services. A 17-year-old was stabbed in the neck. School officials say they visited him in the hospital, and he is doing well. They're now investigating how a knife made it through the school's metal detector.